Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Problem 51, uh, chapter number 23, Gauss law. Uh, I'll read out the problem. <coughs> uh, in figure, a non conducting spherical shell of inner radius A equal to 2.00 centimeters and outer radius B equal to 2.40 centimeters has within its thickness a positive volume charge density rho equal to A by R, rho equal to A by R where A is a constant and R is distance from the center of the shell. In addition, a small ball of uh, charge Q equal to 45.0 femtocoulomb, 45.0 femtocoulomb is located at that center. Uh, what value should A have if the electric field in the shell uh, A less or equal to R less or equal to B is to be uniform? So we are given a situation where we have a charge, small charged ball. So we'll just consider it a point charge with charge Q given 45 uh, femtocoulomb. Then we have a non-conducting uh, charged shell. Okay, non-conducting charged shell. So this is our non-conducting charged shell with inner radius A and outer radius B. Inner radius A and outer radius B. Within this uh, uh, shell, within this non-conducting shell, uh, charge density, charge is distributed such that charge density is A divided by R, A being a constant and R is simply distance from the center. Okay, uh, within this region, now what is the uh, question asking us uh, to do? Within this part, within the spherical uh, uh, shell, okay, within this non-conducting spherical shell, we are asked to find out value of A, this constant A, such that field here is uniform. Uniform, uh, that is a mistake there. Field is uniform, not zero. For E to be uniform, for E to be uniform within A and B, so within this region, okay, within the shell, within the shell we would find out value of A for which this field will be uniform within the shell. Okay, So uh, clearly spherical uh, symmetry is involved. Charge density that is given is depends only on R. Okay, Depends only on R. So spherical symmetry is still maintained there. So what I will do is I will use Gauss law. Okay, I will use Gauss law to find out first field inside this uh, spherical shell. And then we will see if that field has to be uniform then what should be the condition for that? Gauss law, we already know, is integral E dot dA, I'll write E dA cos of theta, is equal to Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Okay, Q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. The left-hand side is not a problem for us. We have done it so many times. Since spherical symmetry is involved, okay, since spherical symmetry is involved, so field at all points of the Gaussian cylinder has to be radially outward. Positive charges are involved, so radially outward. Again, since spherical symmetry is involved, so feel at all these points, all points of the Gaussian surface, all points of the Gaussian surface, not within the surface, not outside the surface, all points of the Gaussian surface, feel value is same, constant, from spherical symmetry. Okay, uh, So this part will be same at all points of the Gaussian surface and uh, direction is radially outward. Then we already know that this is direction of E, that area element is directed radially outward. So angle, and this is the case at all points, radially outward. So angle, if both of them are radially outward, so angle between them is zero at all points. So left hand side is over, left hand side is over. The issue is with the right hand side, we have to find out Q enclosed. Okay, we have to find out Q enclosed. And charge within the sphere, within the sphere, depends on R. So this is not uniformly charged. Okay, this is not uniformly charged. Charge density is not constant. So we'll have to make use of integration. Now, uh, Q enclosed, what is the charge this Q enclosed uh, includes? One, this Q enclosed includes this Q. Clearly, this is lying within it, within the sphere, within the Gaussian surface. This is our Gaussian surface. And the part of the charge from the shell lying within this part, 
Now, charge within the shaded part is also charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface. So this part also becomes a shell with inner radius R and outer radius A. Outer radius R. Inner radius A and outer radius B. Uh, sorry. Inner radius A and outer radius R. Okay. Outer radius of the non-conducting shell is B. But we are not considering this part of the charge. That is not lying inside the Gaussian surface. We have to consider only this part. Lying from this point to this point. Well, this is already there. So f we have to find out. This is already known to us. We have to find our charge lying between A and R in this shell lying between A and R. So that part will do separately. Okay, that part will do separately. Since it is non-uniformly charged, so we have to do it separately. It will be a little lengthy. Now this is my inner surface of the shell, non-conducting shell, inner surface of the non-conducting shell, and this is my outer surface of the non-conducting shell. Inner radius A, outer radius B. So this is my shell. This is my shell. Now this is my Gaussian surface. This red one is my Gaussian surface. Okay, red one is my Gaussian surface. I have to find charge within it. Okay, I have to find charge within it. Q, uh, Q at the center is already known to us, so we don't care about that. That will include later on. I have to find out charge from A to R from A to R and it is not uniformly charged so I cannot do charge density into volume so we have to perform integration so for that what I have done is I have considered here a shell I have considered a thin shell here with radius R prime and thickness dr prime okay radius R prime and thickness dr prime so every point of this shell every point of this shell is at a distance of r prime from the center that means the same distance r prime from the center so charge density which is a divided by r since r value is same for all these points so this is going to be same density is going to be same for all these points all these points not within this or outside this v these points only lying in this uh, uh, shell we have considered so charge within the shell so differential charge within this differential shell we have considered is charge density into volume. Now volume is uh, surface area 4 pi r prime square into dr prime the thickness. Okay, surface area into the thickness, into the thickness. Rho is A divided by R, R for these points is R prime. So divided by R prime, 4 pi r prime square dr prime. One of the r prime cancels out. So R prime cancels out. So we have 4 pi A R prime D R prime. So what is total charge there? Therefore Q is equal integration of 4 pi A R prime R prime just R prime uh, into D R prime. We need this charge between A and R. A and R. Then R could be any value. You can take B. Okay. So 0 to R. 0 to R. 4 pi A is constant, so outside. I don't need this yet. Uh, so Q is equal to 4 pi A outside. We are left with R prime. So integration is R prime square divided by 2. So R prime square divided by 2 with limits A to R. 2 and 2 cancels out. So this is 2 pi A. Uh, R square minus A square, substituting the uh, these uh, limits. Okay, Q is already there, so let me use Q prime for this. Let me use Q prime for this. Now coming back here, coming back to Gaussian surface. Okay, this is our Gaussian. Uh, Gaussian surface of radius r of radius r now we'll solve Gauss law for this 
गाउस लॉ इंटीग्रेशन ई डी ए कॉस ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल क्यू एनक्लोज डिवाइडेड बाय एप्सलॉन जीरो वे ऑलरेडी डिस्कस लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ई इज सेम एट ऑल द पॉइंट्स ऑफ द गाउशन सरफेस आउटसाइड थीटा इज जीरो एट ऑल द पॉइंट्स ऑफ कॉस ऑफ जीरो इज वन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी इज ए व्हिच इज टोटल एरिया फोर पाई आर स्क्वायर टोटल एरिया ऑफ द गाउशन सरफेस इज इक्वल क्यू एनक्लोज डिवाइड बाय एप्सलॉन जीरो सो आई राइट वन बाय एप्सलॉन जीरो क्यू एनक्लोज it includes this charge q here plus charge lying within this radius r of this non conducting shell which is uh, 2 pi a r square minus a square 2 pi capital a r square minus little a square okay little a square yeah we are doing it right so this implies e is equal 4 pi r square i'll take downstairs When four pi comes down, this is one by four pi epsilon zero, which is electrostatic constant Q. R square downstairs. I'll take it inside, so we'll have Q divided by R square uh, plus two pi a divided by R square into R square minus a square. We're almost done. I'll split it. So E is equal to gamma Q divided by R square. Q divided by R square, two pi. I'll open it. So R square and R square will cancel out. So two pi a. So plus two pi a. Then uh, minus. So plus minus is minus. Two uh, pi a divided by R square into a square. Two pi a. Little a square divided by r square. So this is our field within the non-conducting spherical shell. Okay, within the non-conducting spherical shell. Now this field has to be uniform. Okay, this field has to be uniform. Remember, we have to find out value of a. We have to find out value of a. We have to find out value of a for which field is uniform within this shell. Okay, within this shell. So. Uh, We have found the value of. We found the value of the field. Now this field has to be uniform. Uniform means it has to be independent of distance r from the center. Okay, it has to be independent of the distance r from the center. Now look at this equation carefully. We have this term that depends on r, but field should not depend on r. We have this term that depends on r. But field should not depend on R, and this term is constant, so this is not a problem for us. So somehow these two terms, these two terms, we should get R out of this equation, so that field becomes uniform. Well, it's obvious. This one is positive. This one is negative. So if these two terms are equal, and already one of them is positive, other one is negative, so they'll cancel out. So field will be gamma times two pi a. So for e to be uniform e to be uniform q divided by r square must be equal to 2 pi a a square little a square divided by r square and then uniform field that uniform field what we are looking for that uniform field will be equal to gamma this and this is gone now 2 pi a gamma 2 pi a Okay. We are asked to find out just value of a. So r square and r square cancels out. So a is equal to q divided by two pi little a square. Two pi little a square. So let's substitute the values. Okay, let's substitute the values. We are asked to find out uh, field or a. What should be the value of a? Okay, we are asked to find out a. So let's substitute the values. Uh, q is given. Uh, where is it? Forty-five femtocoulomb. So forty-five point zero into ten to the power minus fifteen coulomb divided by two pi is three point one four into a. Uh, a is given two centimeters. So two point zero zero into ten to the power minus two square. Okay, square. Now this is what we have to work out. Uh, I have not worked it out, so I have. This is one point seven nine into ten to the power 
minus 15 plus 4 is minus 11. So this A is 1.79 into 10 to the power minus 11. This is the value of A. Okay, this is the value of A. What is the corresponding value of E? Now, we're not asked to find out, but I'll still uh, uh, figure it out. We just had to suppose to so for field to be uniform within the shell, uh, the value of A must be 1.79 into 10 to the power minus 11. Uh, a little homework for you, find out unit of this A. Okay, find out unit of this A. That I'll leave for you. That'll do for this session.